Welcome back to FTFM. Technological developments have completely transformed financial markets, but asset managers have been criticised for being slow to adapt to technological change. Joining us to discuss is Ewan Munro, the Chief Executive of Aviva Investors, the asset management arm of Aviva, the insurer. Welcome, Ewan. Hello. So, um, technologies such as mobile banking services are becoming increasingly widespread. But uh, are asset managers lagging behind in uh, using technology to make their products and services more widely accessible to their customers? I think we could be criticised of that, and certainly there's been some, some criticism to that effect. Mm. I think that a lot of customers can access our products directly on digital platforms, but not usually platforms that are owned by the asset managers. Mm. So we are selling our propositions to platforms, whether that's wealth platforms or uh, platforms like co-funds where people collect their pension savings. Uh, we could do better mm -hmm. and I think we need to think carefully about the changes to distribution. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been reported that Google, the US technology giant, has been doing some research on whether it should actually enter the asset management industry. Um, are incumbent fund managers uh, being too complacent about the possibility that uh, new players like Google or Amazon or iTunes might come along and eat their lunch? I think it depends on your, your business model. Um, you know, I was asked a similar question by my chairman, you know, is iTunes going to come and be a big threat to you? And I jokingly said what I do is more akin to what Taylor Swift does than what iTunes does because iTunes distributes high quality songs and, uh, and creative uh, capabilities by artists. I think that fund management is a creative exercise de delivering good performance for our clients and the channels to market will undoubtedly change. So I think I'd be interested in knowing whether Google, iTunes, these kind of big tech brands are going to come in as distributors of investment management content or if they seriously think that they're going to run money and run the funds. And I think that would be akin to iTunes you know, performing its own songs, mm -hmm. which you know, would be a diff different proposition altogether, and I don't see that as a near-term threat. And within your own business, what, what are you doing to incorporate technology and to, to help it to appeal more to your customers? I think at, at Aviva we have developed a, a digital business, so we, we are, uh, we've got a My Aviva app on the phone where people can, in a single place, access car insurance, home insurance, their pension, and we have a lot of very smart people in a garage in Hoxton that are trying to make that experience as slick and as smooth as possible. Um, but as an asset manager, we need to be able to sell our propositions to everyone, whether they come directly through an Aviva channel or indirectly through other channels. Um, in the US, there's been a very strong growth f for the market for robo-advice, using technology to provide financial advice to investors rather than it coming from a, a human. I mean, do you, what, what do you think are the prospects for growth there? Well, I think it's, a, it's an efficient way to deliver um, investment solutions and advice to people that might not be advised at all. So I do think that some automated way of giving advice to people who might be in an advice vacuum can meet, meet a need. But I think we have to be realistic as to what such a, such a you know, capability will be able to deliver. Mm. It'll be able to guide people more on risk, I think, than on outcome. And do, do you think that uh investors will be well served by robo-advice if it continues just to push people into passive products and ETFs rather than towards actively managed products as it seems to be doing at the moment? No, I would worry about that. I mean, my, my view is that the passive solutions have worked quite well over the last, you know, 10, 20 years because we've been, let's face it, we've been in a bull market for financial assets as long-term interest rates have come down. So people have made decent returns simply from owning the broad market exposure. I think now we're going to be living in a low interest rate world and the return from simply passively holding assets will not be so rewarding. So in that world, juggling between your different passive options, might, might you can manage risk, but you can't manage outcome. And I think that's what really I'm focusing my business on 
is trying to make those decisions around driving for sensible outcomes, level of return, level of income uh, for, for our end clients. Uh, Ewan Monroe of, of Aviva Investors, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. And for more on this topic, go to ft.com forward slash ftfm.